Hi everyone, welcome back to Andrea Fontana Beauty. I'm so excited to finally be back. In case you haven't noticed, this is a much better quality setup because I bought I bought a fancy new camera. The intention with it was not necessarily for filming YouTube, but to photograph all the pictures for my upcoming cookbook. And I knew I wanted to invest in a good camera and I guess it's just one of the perks of needing it. Now I can film better YouTube videos. So this setup is so much easier and I love that I can see, I have a monitor so I can see what I'm doing. So I have a feeling this means that I am gonna be right back in it with the videos and it's gonna be much easier for me to edit them and just do it all. So expect more videos to come. After I film this 10 minute makeup look with a tinted SPF, no foundation. This is like my, my go-to everyday makeup look. I will film an update video. So that's gonna be on IGTV so that you guys can kind of know where I've been, what's been going on. Hint, hint, uh, this had something to do with it. So yeah, I'm really excited, feeling really good. Just took a much needed break because there's just a lot going on in my life right now and I'm always grateful for everything but excited to be back here because this feels really good. So I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit here. I can't believe that I can do that just so easily and make sure that I'm still in frame. This is amazing. The kind of star of this makeup look is the Amavar SPF 50 Tinted Mineral Sunscreen. It's a completely zinc, reef safe sunscreen, so it's a physical sunscreen, and I'm obsessed with this. It has light to medium coverage. I mean, this stuff is so good. Granted, it only comes in one shade, so not gonna be good for all skin tones, but the whole purpose of this video is for me to show you how I can go foundation free and use this instead. So I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna show you how I use this and do my everyday makeup that doesn't involve foundation. So as you can see right now, I have nothing on my skin besides my normal skincare routine that I did. But you can see I have some redness on my cheeks from, um, I have KP on my cheeks. For some reason it's worse on one side. It's always worse on this side. I have like texture of bumps. I mean, I have dark circles, this lovely vein that likes to pop through, some old acne scarring. Yeah, that's about it. I'm just wanting to give myself a more even natural base and we're gonna start with this. So when you squeeze it out, that's what it looks like. It's kind of thick, so I kind of like to do one of these and just like, so I'm gonna dot it all over the face. I'm trying to do this with just the monitor, so as my mirror. So we'll see how this goes. But I wanna show you just how easy this makeup look, makeup look really is. It's an SPF 50. I mean, it has like a relatively sunscreeny smell, but it's not as like, similar to ones that I've previously smelled. Like I feel like it's not quite as alarming. It's a little more fresh than typical SPF smells. So, um, and I definitely don't notice it once I wear it throughout the day. So I'm just gonna put, I like to apply it with a brush just because it's a little bit thicker. I find that that really helps melt it into the skin. And I like to go in a little extra. So you can see it gives me a nice, I mean, that's a good amount of coverage. The one thing I always, so I always put it all, like I make sure to really get it everywhere in every nook and cranny since this is my SPF. SPF is really important, right? So I don't rely on a foundation's amount of SPF, but I'm here for a great SPF that has some coverage, if that makes sense. So the SPF is my prime um, priority and the added coverage is just like an added benefit. So I make sure to take it, I mean, we go over the eyebrows with just what's left over, blend it out. So there we go. Next, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Creamy Concealer. 
and I'm gonna put a little under the eyes. I'm gonna do, I always swipe a little bit here. I don't have a lot of acne scarring left, but I like to get right there because I like to, I get red under the nose and then I'm gonna go in with my same foundation brush and just gently blend that in. Just like that. So now we've got a nice easy coverage. I'm going to go in with my number seven lift and luminate triple action finishing powder in light medium and taking a fluffy under eye brush. I'm just going to pat that where I concealed under my eyes. I do like that this one isn't transparent. It's a, um, it has a little bit of pigment to it. So it's great for days like this where you want just like a little extra coverage. I'm gonna put a little bit through my T-zone area of my forehead because I tend to get a little oily right there. And then also a little bit right here where I concealed. Next, we're gonna go in, um, this is the Tarte Blush in Harmony, which I don't think they sell anymore. It's just like a little freebie that I got. It's truly just like a super simple, natural. And I'm just gonna go in And blush up my cheeks <laughs> this camera really this always happens I don't know what it is about blush but for some reason it always picks up super well when I'm filming but then when I take pictures blush if you've done if you've had your makeup done for photos you know that blush is sometimes the thing that's like hardest to pick up so I always find it really funny that it's the thing that I feel like picks up so easily for me because it is not ever this wild in person. But again, I'm not bronzing, so I don't care about it being, I mean, I want a little color on the cheeks. So next we're gonna go in with the same exact blush and I'm taking a fluffy eyeshadow brush and we're just gonna buff that. So what I'm doing is I'm tapping in as if it were a flat shader brush and I'm packing it on my lid and then windshield wiper motions to blow it out. Okay. That's it. That's our eyeshadow. I actually just had a wedding this past weekend and somebody was like, I love your, which happens all the time when I like put the least amount of effort into my makeup. Someone would be like, oh, I love what's on your eyes. What is it? And I'm like, it's my blush. My go-to for day to day. Okay. So, We've got blush, now we're gonna go in with our highlighter. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. Muru Muru Butter Highlighter in Champagne. And again, taking another fluffy brush, I'm just gonna gently put that on the high points of the face. This is like a pretty champagne-y gold highlighter. You can see it's really pretty. Um, I'm also going to rub my ring finger in it and just get the inside just to kind of wake up the eyes a little bit. Anytime I use a cream highlighter, I like to go back in with my fluffy under eye brush and just kind of like blend that out, make sure it looks nice. And then we're going to do our brows, mascara and spray, and then we're done. It's really that easy. Okay, so. I'm just going to tame, this is Glossier Boy Brow in black. Brows are done. We're gonna use some of the Pixi Glow Mist, which I obviously love. You just gotta shake it up because it separates. And we're gonna give ourselves a nice spritz. Whew. That feels so good. We're gonna let it dry. And then this is a new, this is gonna be the ultimate test if, if I can use the monitor. I'm gonna attempt to put, now nah, I'm actually gonna use the mirror because this is never gonna work. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. I purchased, I think I, I needed new translucent powder for my kit and 
I purchased it through Ulta and it, they had a special with a free gift, you know, so it came with like this little four piece set and this mascara was in it and I've never tried this mascara, but holy cow, am I obsessed. I'll talk about it more in my recent favorites. It's really hard for me to find a mascara. It's gonna show. It's hard to find a mascara that I really like the wand and I also love the formula. I'm very often like so in love with the wand but hate the formula or vice versa. So I love that I like both. Um, when it's day to day, I don't put any mascara on the bottom just because I normally have issues with it dotting because I am oily under my eyes. So. I like it. I think it's a really great mascara. And that is the finished look. Can you believe it? That was so quick. I want to, it was definitely under 10 minutes. I should have looked at the timer when I started, but as you can see, it's just a super natural dewy. I mean, I have a little bit of redness that kind of peeks through. I don't know if that'll show up on camera, but it's just a really easy, quick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight product everyday makeup look that includes your SPF. So, I mean, technically then, do we want to say seven since you should be wearing your SPF every day anyway? So, let me know what you think. I will include the link to Amavara's website so that you can check out all their products. I am obsessed with this SPF. I haven't been this obsessed with an SPF, maybe ever. The company is so sweet and so kind. Also, their customer service, everything is great. I love, love, love them. I haven't tried any of their other products, but because I'm so obsessed, I will definitely uh, be trying some more out. So you will hopefully be seeing more of those in the future. I've been, I should probably say I've been using this for almost a year now too. So I, this is like my second or third tube and I'm obsessed. So I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Ah, sorry. I can't, I keep looking at myself because I can't believe that I can actually see what I'm doing. I've always had to guess before in case you didn't know, in case you're not, I was filming on my phone before, which is good quality, but not as good quality as this camera. So I hope you have a wonderful day and please share with me your favorite products for your everyday quick makeup routine because these are mine. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.